Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's do an example of how to apply what we call the general equation or general case for a binomial distribution. The probability of m successes when you have n trials. So let's go ahead and work that with the three cases here in this example. We have 10 people entering a bookstore and there's a 40% chance that any single person will buy a book. So what is the probability that four people will purchase a book? What is the probability that at least one person will purchase the book? And what's the probability that all 10 purchase a book? So let's go ahead and figure that out using the general equation. Sometimes it's easier to write it like this. That the probability of m successes is equal to n factorial divided by m factorial times n minus m factorial. So that's what the symbol means times the probability of success to the m power times the probability of failure to the n minus m power. All right, so in this case, what is p and what is q? The probability of success, since 40% will buy a book, that means that p is equal to 0.4, which means that the probability of failure that no one, that a person will not purchase a book is 0.6. <clears throat> All right, so let's start with the first part, part a. So for part a, the probability that 4 will purchase a book. So that would be equal to 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 6 factorial because 10 minus 4 is 6. The probability of success is 0.4 raised to the 4th power and 0.6 raised to the 10 minus 4, which is 6 power. So here you can see that you cannot combine them because they're different probabilities. Simplifying this, however, this would be equal to 10 divided by 6 factorial would be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 <clears throat> divided by 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that would be times 0 0.4 raised to the 4th power and 0 0.6 raised to the 6th power. Simplifying this a little bit more, we have an 8 and 4 times 2, which is 8, a 3 and a 9, so now we have 30 times 7, which is 210. So this would be equal to 210 times 0 0.4 raised to the 4th power times 0 0.6 raised to the 6th power. Of course, at this point, you're going to want to use a calculator. So 0.4 raised to the 4th power times 0.6 raised to the 6th power. And then you multiply that times 210, and we get 0 0.25. So 0 0.25, which is equal to 25%. So the probability that four people will purchase a book is about 25%, one out of four. Okay, let's try part B. So here we're trying to figure out what the probability is that at least one person will purchase a book. So it's better than to go ahead and first calculate what the probability is that no one will buy a book and one minus that will be the probability that at least one person will buy a book. So the probability of 0 is equal to 10 factorial divided by 0 factorial divided by 10 factorial times 0 0.4 raised to the m power, which would be 0, times 0 0.6 raised to the 10th power. So 10 divided by 10, that would be, of course, 1. 0 factorial, by definition, is 1. So this whole thing turns into a 1. Anything to 0 power is equal to 1, so all we have is 0 0.6 raised to the 10 power. So 0 0.6 raised to the 10 power is, <clears throat> that would be 0 0.6, oh, not 6, but 0 0.00605. So that's the probability that no one will purchase a book, so therefore, the probability that one person will purchase a book is equal to the probability is equal to one minus the probability that no one will buy a book. So this is equal to one minus 0 0.00605. So plus one, and so it's equal to 0 0.99. Uh, let's round it off to three uh, significant figures. So this is equal to 99.4 percent. So that means. And 10 people walk into the store, there's a 99.4% chance that at least one person will purchase a book. All right, and finally for part C, what is the probability that everyone, every one of the 10 people will purchase a book? So that would be P sub 10, which is equal to 10 factorial divided by 10 factorial times 0 factorial. Again, this whole thing will be equal to 1 times 0 0.4 to the 10 power and 0 0.6 to the 
that would be 10 minus 10, which is zero power, which is equal to, so this whole thing becomes a one, this becomes a one, and what is 0.4 to the 10 power? And that would be equal to 0 0.000105. So therefore, uh, that would be equal to, let's see, 0.0105%. Yep, that's correct. And so that's how we can calculate those various probabilities by having a binomial distribution and using the general equation to accomplish that. And that's how we do that.